Last time on Signalis. Wait, wait, Adler? Oh. Yeah, it's a bunch of Elster units. She did say in like one of her letters that her hair was like turning white. Whoa, what happened to my arm? Hello, Arion. Oh, they're, they're hugging. Oh my God. I mean, obviously like, you know, they're in love and everything, but I mean like, why did the ship crash? I thought I was looking for Alina. I'm so confused. What? I'm, I'm back? A submachine gun? I seriously have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Signalis. Um, but yeah, last time, a lot of crazy shit happened. I thought the game ended, but then it didn't. And then I stole a replica of mine's, like, armor and arm, because I lost mine. I think I'm still looking for Alina, but I might be looking for this Ariane person now, who apparently was maybe my lover? I'm not, like, I'm, I'm not sure if it's me or if it was a different replica unit that was my lover. I don't, uh, th that was her lover. I don't know. All I know is, I got some areas to go to. Going up this way is probably for the best. Because, got everything out of the trash area. I didn't go this way, though. Oh. Oh, that goes down. Okay, before I do that though, I have a store key, and I want to see if I can use it on any of the doors down here. We's gonna find out, we's. Mm -hmm. Locked from the other side, okay. So I have the store key, but it's not um, th this key. I don't believe that this is the key that I need yep i need uh something else okay okay well i guess i gotta drop down then oh wait what did that say i missed it meat grinder seems to be broken looks safe to drop through the floor below okay son whoa whoa cooler okay what was that? That looked like, um, Ariane. Hairspray. Another one. No space to carry the tower, okay. can't go back up right now either so I don't have, I can't take that right now anyway uh, shit damn right cuz I have the stun rod okay um I'll equip the stun rod that way I can use it if I need to in this next room oh shit Why can't I use... thing? Oh, the fuck me, um... Dicky, um, shit. Okay, at least I know it's safe in here. Patient key? Okay, okay. Okay. Put the stun rod away for now. I need to make some repair pluses. 
So we'll do that. Not enough space for that shiitake. Patient key, that's nice. Hairspray, also nice. I'll use the repair spray now. Oh, room. Oh, so that's the room key that I need. Okay. That's really good, actually. It's good to get that key now. Um, I should probably save, though. Okay. Oh, this leads back up. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so good. That is exactly what I needed right now. Oh, nice. Okay. Where's this go to? Alley? Oh, fuck me! Oh, I thought it was falling down. I am gonna die. Uh, fuck you and fuck you. Okay. I have any of that ammo left? I don't. Oh, shit. Okay, I unlock that door at the very least. That door is broken. Okay, that's joy. The red eye? There exists a strange folklore idea in many sectors of Rotfront related to paraidolia. The tendency to see meaningful things in random patterns, like seeing a face in an ink blot or letters in a smudge of dirt. It is well known that this so-called red eye is simply an anti-cyclonic storm produced by high by a high pressure region in the atmosphere of a rot front planet. Yet for some of the early settlers of Rotfront, this phenom this natural phenomena became symbolic of their struggle and way of life. That red spot in the sky became a perfect metaphor for their ever present surveillance by the protectors and the tight grip of the central government on Haymat. Even today, the idea of an unblinking, watchful eye observing their every move still resonates strongly with the people here. During the celebration of Mondfest at the end of each uh, season, adult citizens will sometimes give students ration marks that have been dipped in red paint. Officially, the red paint is said to represent the blood of those who died in the revolution, but the red coins share an eerie resemblance to the red eye. Or is it just uh, Paraidolia 2? Should you receive one of these red eye ration marks, remember to clean off the paint with acetone or a similar paint thinner. Uh, spending or regifting paint covered coins is considered to, be, to bring bad luck. Okay. Okay, where does this go to? Okay. Uh, 75. And then I come back. 24. Uh, or 224. Whoa, I didn't even see you in the corner. Holy fuck balls. Well, this seems like not a good room. Uh, Bioresonance technology and its limitations. No other technology has shaped our nation as bioresonance has. 
Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the Empire without the support of replicas? Uh, essential uh, technologies like clima forging and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant effects with uh, conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example, the process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt host to a, a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happened to the pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Recreating a replica purely from microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before uh, we're back where we were under the Empire. Interesting. Huh. That was the red eye thing. What's this? Oh, that's nice. I may need to get the, uh, may need to get that rifle. Elster. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, okay. Gonna go back down here real quick. Okay, here we go. I have an idea. Okay. 172. I did it. Okay. What's this? Handgun ammo, that's good. Oh shit. You and your fucking shield. Oh, just fuck me. I wish this was easier to aim. Okay. Okay. Let me stomp on you. Come on, there we go. And I'm out. And I'm out. That's not good. Shit. Wait, what's that? Stun rod? Oh, thank Jesus. And you're down. Okay. Owie. Now, let me put this away and get my handgun. Because I now have bullets for it. And you're down too. Okay, good. Okay. There was a lot of stuff in here, I remember. Shotgun rounds, very nice. Oh, 8mm ammo, very nice. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm out of this. I'm out of space already. Oh, I forgot to put those away. That would make sense. Okay. So what did this say? Lock requires a key. What kind of key? Young photos! Oh, I have the key! I have the key I need! Goody. Okay. What is this? 
Okay, I can go that way. That's good to know. <sighs> yes. Developer fluid. Perfect. Okay. That's locked. Thing I can do here? No. Wait. Is that... Hold on. Is Alina? Oh my god, it is Alina? Like, that's that's Alina on the right. But, like, who's that on the left, then? That's not me, is it? Doesn't look like me. People's Army, uh... Fifth, uh... Venetian, uh... Infantry Division Unit 12. Anna Huang... Alina Ito Lilith. Alina Elise Rebecca. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, so where is the uh there it is, okay. So we can mix these together. Photo that was inside the development tank. Uh send? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Wonder what kind of machine could process this code. Okay. Let's put it away for now because we got some more exploring to do. I didn't check over here. I can't go that way. Okay. So that's good to know. Looks like a train is going by. But that's weird, isn't it? There's a train here? Oh, shit. There's a big guy here. Okay. Matrix code scanner. This is what I need that picture for. Okay. Where's this go? Hey. Leads back out to the front. Perfect. Okay. All comes back around, it does. Okay, so I can go upstairs and I can unlock the door up there to room 512. <laughs> you gonna let me stomp on them? Okay, apparently they're just down. Okay, I'm not upset about that. Okay, let's move on. Oh boy! Whoa! I can't get back into that apartment up there. It won't let me. Holy fuck! Dream diary? Sixth night. I dreamt I was an imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the red deserts of. Uh, Kitez, uh, when a storm consumed us, the sand grinding us down until nothing remained. Thirteenth night, I was a worker in the mines of Liang when I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh. My flesh joining the flesh of many others until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh which persists long beyond death. Sixteenth night, as the storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Veneta. Uh, but I never reached the ocean below. I kept falling when suddenly lightning struck the building and I woke up. Eighteenth night, I was floating in a sunless sea below the ice of Rotfront. When I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core. Nineteenth night, I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Buyan. I was walking through the floating Imperial Palace... When the gaze of the sun-like iris burned my body to ashes. Well, that's 
creepy. Hey. These are for the tarot cards. Okay. Okay. Ah, the next card. Perfect. Pick up the sun. What's this? Leaving? Been found out. I'm sure the white-haired girl working at the photo store in Sector C is bio-resident. Be careful. You don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I'm on the next ship to Cortez tomorrow. Meet me in the docks in Sector N if you want to bail too. Sun. Oh... So these were spies, then. There we go. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you! Okay, and that one's locked. Do I have space in my inventory? I do, thank God. Because now I can... Oh, fuck. I can finally get this card, which I've been needing to get for a while. The tower. Okay. I need to check the upper hallway, though. Best save while I'm thinking about it. Been a while since I saved anyway. Okay, this rifle is pretty fucking powerful, so it'll be exactly what I need. Oh, fuck me. Oh, you bitches! Why can't I shoot this one? There we go, okay. All these doors fucking locked? No, this one isn't. Thank God. Okay, shotgun rounds. Always good, always good. Okay, come on, let me get this. Okay, got those. No space for the ammo. No space for that either. Oh, are you kidding me here? Fuck you. Oh my god, okay. Yes. And a red disc. Perfect. Okay. I think that's everything we're gonna need. That's everything from up in this area, so we won't need to come back. Oh, that's not true. We'll have to go in there. Damn it. Alright, red disc. Metabank. Yeah, I'll just download all of these just in case. Radio officer. Medical history, insomnia, bruising, premature. Acro. Matia. Doctor's notes removed. Depression ration was doubled. Unknown case. Okay, so they're twins. And apparently, shop assistant, university student. Okay. Oh, check uh, the PKZ. 560-524. 560-524. Okay. I think that that's... 560-524. We'll see if that's the code we need. 560-524. There we go.
Song of the Gods? Banned. Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by Fourth uh, Cultural Protection Act. There exists a connection between all of us that very few are aware of. A song that we all dance to, but few can hear. This deep vibration of the cosmos cannot be heard, cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Those select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars, too invasive the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that cannot only hear and play this music of the world, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Her immense will bent humanity into the Empire of Eusen and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the Empire on their carbon steel backs. Interesting. Very interesting. Whoa. Isa! I couldn't find her. I've looked everywhere. But she's not here anymore. I can't go on. I'm sorry. No! Issa, no! Why did she turn into a puddle of goo? Forgive me. Soul Day. Photograph of Issa wearing a school uniform. Erica. Picture is badly damaged. The death card. Oh my god. Wait. Does that mean that they were both dead? Why would. Then how was she here? Walking around, doing stuff? Doesn't make any sense. What the flying fuck, man? Oh boy. Well, that was freaky. I've got five of the cards. But that's that's not enough. I need six. Obviously, I'm missing this here. There's like the thing about the red eye, but I don't, uh, I haven't figured that puzzle out yet that goes with that, um, uh, okay, so, I'm sorry, Isa, so Isa, Isolde, Isolde Ito, she was looking for her sister, Erica, whose mind was apparently the basis for the command. No, I just... Okay, there we go. Wait, hold on. That's... Not fair! That... That was a nice way back! <sighs> Shiitake. Have to go this way now. So, I'm pretty sure that, like... The moon mural and, uh... Like, the tarot table are connected, which means I had to figure out what the butterflies in the butterfly room are. If I go too terribly far from them, it's going to take a while to get back. There's nowhere new to go. I'm going to go back up there, and I'm going to go and see if maybe I can figure out something. 
that has to do with um, those butterflies. One hour later. I have been trying to figure out this puzzle forever. And I think I may finally have it. Because someone, like, I looked online and someone just said, look carefully at the butterflies. And I was like, okay. I see A, R, that's a three, E, O, zero, N, and a backwards N. So let's try... A Aeon? Oh my god, it was Aeon! Okay. Pick up the moon card. Okay. I officially have all the tarot cards. Oh. That took me a lot longer than I feel like it should have. I kept thinking, like, I tried all the abbreviations for all the different units. I don't want to call them robots because they're not really robots. Replica. I tried all the different combinations for the replica units that I could with those letters, but none of them worked. So I was getting a little frustrated. Oh my god. I am losing my way back. Oh, fuck you. Oh man, but I mean like, I'm so sad that Issa's gone! She was like the only constant, oh my god, what is going on? Light well above has been consumed by the mass of meat, releasing some debris that was caught in the nets above. Dial ring? Is that for this, I'm guessing? Maybe? I'm not sure. All I know is I've gone basically everywhere I can here, and, like, these weird growths are getting worse. Okay, I'm taking all the cards at once, with nothing to defend myself with. This may be a horrible idea, but we're about to find out. Yeah, it turns out it wasn't the best idea, because that guy got up! Okay. Okay, so... I think this is supposed to go up here. Like, the new moon is supposed to go up here. Or maybe it's like an eclipse. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, because that looks like an eclipse. That looks like just the regular moon. Or maybe the sun. Okay. Let's try putting this up there. Oh, oh okay. Oh, God. I was looking back through the notes, and I, I found, like... Like, the sixth night, I embraced my lover in Kietz. So, yeah, that's, uh, the lover's is in Kietz. Okay, so I got that one right. Uh, death is Liang. Okay, so death goes down here then. I fell from a ruined skyscraper in uh, Vienta. Lightning struck the building, that's the tower. So that's Vienta. Okay, so that one goes here then. I was pretty close with these, okay. Floating in a sunless sea below the ice of Rotfront. A sunless sea. That's the moon. That's star. That's, okay, it said sunless. So sunless would be nighttime, right? Below me in the moon's dark core. Yep, so moon. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Bunyan. Sun-like. Okay. Yep, sun there. Oh my god, I was so close! Just by looking at the phases of the moon. Yeah, there, 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 there. 
This, that, and then there. Okay. Okay, so then that one ha- like, that's the odd man out. Okay, so... Get this on record. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. So now I just need to go back and do the diagram at the front of the place. But I am definitely out of time for this particular episode. Go oh, fuck! Oh Jesus! Okay. I don't know what I'm going to encounter, but I will take the auto injectors and the submachine gun and its ammo. And I'm pretty sure I'll need the dial ring too. Okay. But that will be for next time, because now that we've officially solved all of the mysteries here, I think we just gotta put in the um in this uh, main area here, we just gotta put in that information, so that's what we'll do next time. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Oh my god, it takes so long to like solve some of these puzzles and everything, and dear god, like, you know, like I've been recording for almost an hour and a half now, and pretty sure this episode's not gonna end up being anywhere near that long. But, you know, who knows? Um, it's, it's difficult to tell, like, you know, before editing, you know, because it takes me a while to solve some of these puzzles sometimes, but I feel proud of myself for, you know, you know, being able to solve them. So, yeah, that's definitely a good feeling. I'm not going to deny, I did have to uh, look up uh, what the, uh, like, the, the butterfly one was. I did have to look that up, and it said, like, you know, pay attention to, like, the butterflies themselves, and that's when I saw the letters, so... Yeah, uh, but I mean, like, I spent a good, like, 20 minutes staring at them, trying to be like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? So, yeah, it took me a while. But either way, thanks again, everybody. And as always, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe it if you're not already. Ring that bell for all them notifications is. And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. Hey there! If you enjoyed this video, why don't you consider subscribing to my Patreon so I can keep making awesome videos like the one you just saw. The link will be in the description below, and as always, have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day.